Hello, Network to Code community. My name is Tim Fiola. I'm your developer advocate here at Network to Code. And today we're going to be talking about not about 1.2.0 key features, not about 1.2 released last week. And it has a lot of features that we think are going to provide a lot of value to the community. So we want to introduce some of those features today. And these are the features we'll be talking about today. All right, let's get going. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is GitHub issue 229, the view for managing custom fields outside of the Django admin. Now, it used to be that you had to go into the admin view to view custom fields. Now, with this feature, not about users can manage custom fields outside of the Django admin panel. Now you can access them via the top level extensibility dropdown by going to extensibility, then custom fields. So non admin users with the appropriate permissions can now manage these custom fields. This next one, GitHub 248, is a really cool one I'm personally very excited about. So the GraphQL API now supports query filter parameters at any level within a query. It used to be that you could only filter on the top level object. Now you can filter uh, at, at within any level, excuse me, of the GraphQL query. Uh, it doesn't have to be just the top level object. It can be lower level objects further within the query. This greatly expands the type of queries Notabot's GraphQL can handle, which will make it easier for users to, hand, to uh, utilize GraphQL's time-saving uh, capabilities. Next up is GitHub 125 job approval. Jobs can now be optionally set to approval required equals true in their meta object in the job code. Jobs with this attribute set to true, they'll now have a marker indicating approvals required. They'll be placed into an approval queue, and they will require any other user other than the submitter to approve these jobs. Now, the job approval queue is accessed from extensibility, jobs, job approval on the navigation menu. Now, jobs can be approved via the UI or programmatically via the API. GitHub 374 job scheduling. Jobs can now be scheduled for execution at a later date and time. They can also be scheduled for repeated execution on an hourly, daily, or weekly recurring basis. GitHub 472, the job results page, now has a name attribute for the job. So the job results page now can show user-friendly names for the jobs. A user can specify a user-friendly name for the job by specifying the name attribute in the meta class for the job. Now, if no meta name attribute specified, the displayed name just reverts to the path to the job, the path to the code. The job name will appear in the related object column. Now GitHub 585, the advanced tab in the object detail views. The object detail views now have an advanced tab that includes a lot of good information, including the UUID and slug for that object. This can help someone who's constructing REST API calls and GraphQL queries against specific objects because it will let them quickly access the specific slug and UUID for the object they are interested in. Same type and symmetric relationships, GitHub 157. The relationships feature has been extended, excuse me, in two different ways. The first way is relationships between the same object type are now permitted. Really cool. For example, you might want to relate two devices, let's say in an HA cluster. You can do that now with an Autobot. Now for these same object type relationships, there, we now have a symmetric relationship available, which indicates more of a peer-to-peer -peer relationship versus the legacy source to destination relationship, which might not make sense when you're grouping objects of the same type into a relationship. GitHub 541, this is a really big feature. It's secrets integration. This feature allows secure retrieval and usage of arbitrary secrets. It allows for industry standard secret storage tooling and allows Notabot to interact with those industry standard secret tools. 
Now, the secrets are not stored directly in Nodabot. Rather, this feature allows Nodabot to interact with the tools, the industry standard tools that store the features, excuse me, that store the secrets. In this feature, we introduce the secret model. The secret model defines how Nodabot can retrieve a secret value and use that value when needed. Again, this does not store the secret value in Nodabot. This, this feature also introduces the secrets group model. This model uh, collects and assigns meaning to secrets. Uh, so the example to the right shows a secrets group consisting of three napalm credentials needed to access and configure a device, the username, the password, and the secret password. Now, these username, password, and secret, these are all secrets models collected into a secrets group to make them usable and more on GitHub 541. This feature's core code enables two secret sources, an environment variable or a text file. This feature also enables the Nodabot's Secrets Providers app. Uh, this is a new app that will define additional secret providers. The, the, excuse me, the app initially will, includes, will include AWS Secrets Manager and the HashiCorp Vault. This next one, GitHub 935, I think is a really nice feature for the users. It provides an installed plugins view that's accessible by all authenticated users. It replaces the, the view that was previously accessible only to admin users. You can access that, this view by going to plugins and then installed plugins. Now, once you go to the installed plugins list view, that you'll see a list of installed and enabled plugins or apps. This is similar to the admin only view. When you click on an app from the list, this takes the user to a detailed view for that application. This page will include an in-depth look at the capabilities of the plugin, which includes information on which Nodabot plugin features this app is using. Now, GitHub 935 also allows for a home page for each app accessible when the user clicks on the home icon for the app on the installed plugins list view. This app page is highly customizable. So you can describe what your app does, the value proposition, uh, give other information, maybe talk about other apps that you've also made that might, be, uh, that might add value to this app as well. A lot of cool stuff you can put on the new application home page. GitHub 370 is for Nodabot administrators. The Nodabot administrative UI now includes a configuration page. You can reach this page by navigating to admin, configuration, and then config. This configuration view uh, allows the admin user to dynamically customize a number of optional settings. Now, this is an alternative to configuring these settings within the notabotconfig.py file and then having to restart the Nodabot processes. Specific settings in notabotconfig.py will override these settings on this UI view. Now, the settings here do not affect the operation of the Nodabot service itself. These are optional settings. And what, what we're doing is we're bringing those optional settings and bringing them into the UI so that you can easily configure the optional settings without having to restart your entire Nodabot process. GitHub 859 is up next, custom branding. This is a really cool one where your organization may now provide custom branding to change the logo, icons, fav icon, and footer URLs to help Nodabot fit within your environment or community. Uh, in the example here, I've, I've changed the icon, the fav icon, and the branding title, the page title, to reflect an implementation at Vandalay Industries. In the past few minutes, we've covered a few of the main features introduced in Nodabot 1.2.0, but this is not a comprehensive list. For the comprehensive list of features and more information on them and the features we covered today, you can visit the Nodabot documentation on Read the Docs, and you can access uh, a lot of the information we've covered here by going down to the version 1.2 release notes and taking a look at that information there.
Well, this wraps up our coverage today of the Nodabot 1.2.0 new features. We hope they bring you a lot of value. Thank you and have a great day.